Hey guys and welcome back to another video and as you can see behind me here I actually uh, got delivery of some uh, bonnet protection well this is a wingtop wingtop protectors and uh, these are made of out of aluminium they weigh almost nothing and I chose the black ones and I think they look really really nice and um, the reason I ordered these uh, is mainly because they are really practical to stand on. So um, I used them. I used them a lot when I had the 130. Um, but I must say honestly, I used the bonnet one more. So maybe I should get one for that. But I I just really like the look of the blacks uh, with the silver here. So um, but also a big reason why I got these is I'll show you uh, with the camera. These wings are really badly dented. Yeah, they, they gather water when it's raining and it just, it just doesn't look, doesn't look that good. Uh, it's hard to see on camera, but they actually go in and then go up again and stuff. So, and it's the same on the other side. Let's see if we can move this one. So yeah, you can see, you can see that they're like bent inwards. So um, it'll actually look aesthetically better too with the wingtop protectors installed. I'm just going to show you how I install them and uh, then you can decide whether you want to do that as well. And I got a full kit of uh, fasteners too, some screws that are made for countersunk holes and some washers and bolts as well. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use rivet nuts or rivet nuts and drill some holes in the wings and then put rivet nuts in instead. That way it will be easy to put them on. It will easy, be easy to take them off as well. I don't know why, but um, I just don't see a reason in spending so much time trying to uh, put the bolts in and stuff. So uh, we're just going to do it that way. And uh, then if they get damaged or if they need to be painted again or anything, then I can just uh, take them off. So that's uh, what we're going to do. And the holes uh, on this checker plate is already countersunk. So the new screws will fit and fit very flush. So that's that's really nice. So yeah, and they, they really weigh nothing. That's, uh, that's also nice. So what we're going to start with is position them properly and then mark the holes. So I'm just going to use use the protector as a template put it on on the side and then i'm going to see where it looks good and then mark the holes and we're going to drill holes through them and then put the rivet nuts in so first we're taking these plastics off and on the passenger side on the left hand drive model uh, that's actually an intake for the um, heater inside and then on this side it's just a plastic cover uh, it's just basically a blank so we'll take those off first uh, because they protrude a little and they are supposed to go on top of the new wing protector so we're taking them off so we can fit the protector flushly when marking the positions That's the first one off. And as usual, nothing ever goes easy. So I got all the screws out except for one. And that's rounded off. Yeah, we'll have to drill that out. Oh, or uh, we can actually use the correct tool. Get it out anyways. Whee. There we have it. Okay, so um, now it's all clean and uh, we got the fence removed. Uh, now we can go on to putting this in place. 
Uh, and we can actually line it up with the original holes for the vent. So if, if we do this correctly, then this should be how it goes. And that looks really nice. You can also compare it with this edge. Um, yeah, I think that's about right. So um, what we're doing now is we're going to mark every hole. If my marker can get down through the holes, yeah. Just like that and I think I'm actually going to punch punch the holes too right away so then we know exactly where the middle is too there we go now we can take this off and then we can see that we have some marks drilled that's one that's two that's three four and the final one is at the back that we have it five. So those are the only, only holes we need to drill. So the rivet nut I have is an M6. So there's a six millimeter M6 bolt uh, that's going into this. And for that, uh, the outside of the rivet nut is actually eight point maybe one millimeter thick. So I have to drill an eight millimeter hole and make it just a bit bigger for this to fit. And I'm going to start with a small drill, which is a um, three millimeter drill, I think two or three. I'm going to start with that. And then we're going to go bigger. So I'm just hopping up to four and a half or five, six and a half and then eight so we can get the proper size. And I always start with a small hole because uh, then you get more control and it will actually save the bigger drill bits. That's the five millimeter done. Here I have a rivet nut and here I have a eight millimeter drill. And if I put them together, then you can see that they're basically the same size. I can see that the rivet nut is, is slightly, slightly bigger. But uh, yeah, I, this is the best I have because the next step is 10 millimeter and then this will be too small. So uh, we're going to use an eight millimeter and enlarge in these holes until the rivet nut fits. That's the first one. And you can see it won't go in straight. So I'm, I'm just going to make it a little bigger. Very carefully. And, and I'm going to be careful not to make it too big. Almost. There we have it. Uh, now it fits. So we'll do the same with all the others too. So now we've um, gotten all the rivet nuts in place and you actually, if when you're using a rivet nut tool, you don't have to put them in place first, um, but some of them were actually tight, so I can't get them out again. Uh, so yeah, we're going to use the rivet nut tool and this tool is basically just uh, the same as a, 
regular rivet. Um, but with the nut thing, this is a rivet which has thread on the inside. So you can actually thread it on this tool. Just like that. And then it's going to pinch the top part together. And then you'll have threads uh, in there. So uh, we're just going to use it on here and uh, thread it in uh, and uh, I don't know, rivet it in place. There we go. And then you screw this, back it out. And that's the first rivet nut in place. So we're just going to do that with the rest. And um, because these holes were quite tight, I can actually screw them in place like this. And that's that. That's basically it. So now uh, all the holes are prepared to take the new uh, screws. Uh, so now it's basically just a matter of putting this on. But I do love the look, don't you? I, I'm I'm really pleased with this. I've I've I have actually saved a photo in my in my phone from like years ago of a silver 110, and I always wanted a 110 to look like this. So I'll I'll post it up here, and then you can see how how much this looks like that actually. And I I have it with me like. It's not that I want to build mine exactly like it, but it just happened to be uh, that way. <laughs> that feels pretty, pretty good. Uh, now just look at that. That made it look so much better at once. Let's compare, let's compare sides. So. This side and this side. Yeah, in my opinion, this looks so much better. This looks complete. So um, let's uh, get on with uh, fitting that little vent. And then we'll do the other side exactly the same way. So I don't know if if it if these screws are supposed to um, reach down to the original holes, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, or yes. No. These are longer, but also thicker. So I don't know. I don't know if these will work. We'll try them out. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that looks perfect. And uh, some people will actually even think that the uh, silver against black look is nice. So um, we'll just go with that. It's uh, good enough for me. So yeah, let's do the other side too.
<laughs> and there we have it, job done. That was really, really easy. Um, I thought it would be a lot harder. I thought there were, were gonna be a lot more holes to drill. So uh, yeah, and they fit really nicely. I got this from Paddock Spares, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know even if uh, if they had a brand or anything, but um, yeah, this is going to be really nice. So uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. If it helps, if it motivates you to do the same, like this, this really only took 45 minutes with filming. So uh, it always uh, goes a bit quicker when you're not filming. Very nice addition to the car and I, I love the new look. Thank you.